Hi everybody, my name is Chris and I'm a product manager on the Google Cloud security team. I'm here to talk today about how to protect your sensitive data on Google Cloud. What I'm going to show you today is actually a financial services company that is building a financial app for their users that can aggregate all of their data together in one place and they think it's going to make a big difference to their bottom line. So now, in order for this to happen, the developer has to go work with partners and get the data from them. And so what they're going to be getting is both sensitive data, things like social security numbers, as well as public data, things like stock prices. So what the developer really wants to avoid is having a big headline, right? Having a headline that says, hey, we had a big data breach. That's massively damaging to the company, both from a financial perspective, as well as from a reputational perspective. So when a developer is first setting this thing up, the easiest thing for them to do is actually to create a public bucket, right? That data is then easily accessible from the partner's perspective. And so as the partner starts to send them data, it's easy for the developer to get access to it, and it's easy for the, the partner to send them that data too. Now, the problem with this method is that you end up with data that you don't want being exposed to the public. So in this case, what we have here in this public bucket is sensitive data. And that's really bad because that's the kind of data that causes headlines. We want to avoid this. So what we want to be able to do is actually have the developer set up a bucket that is restricted. And we can do that through identity and access management. So if we go ahead and turn that on, you can see that I now have a restricted bucket that I can send sensitive data into. But the problem then becomes, cool, I've got all this data coming in, but I have to sort it manually now. And when I sort things manually, I'm going to make mistakes, right? And so you end up in that same situation where that red ball can end up back into our, our public bucket. How can we avoid that? What we want to be able to use in this case is our data loss prevention product. And what that does is it automatically categorizes the data to make sure that the right data ends up in the right buckets. And so as the data comes in, what we're seeing is that the red data is automatically being filtered into the restricted bucket and the green data is being automatically put into the public bucket. And that's exactly what we wanted to have happen. And we were able to do it all automatically through DLP. Now, we've got this great situation set up here now. We've got identity access management going. We've got data loss prevention going. The issue we have now as we, as we come take a look is that if somebody who actually is supposed to have access to that restricted bucket can still exfiltrate that data. In order for them to be able to secure it, we want to use VPC security controls. And what VPC security controls allow us to do is to keep that data secured within that bucket and unable to, to, to get out. And so if we can turn this on over here, we can see that this red perimeter is now on, meaning that this red data can't leave this bucket, even if, I'm, if I have access to it. What we want to make sure of now is that nobody actually changes any of our configuration because we have all these great security controls, but if people turn them off, they don't work. And so what we want to be able to put in place is a monitoring system to help prevent these kinds of misconfigurations. So we use Forseti to do that, to be able to look and make sure that those security configurations are maintained. And anytime we see something change within that, we then alert people through the Cloud Security Command Center. And so if I turn off this security control here, right, Forseti alerts us and lets us know that there's a problem. So we've got this great system set up now where we have our identity and access management, our data loss prevention, we've got our uh, VPC service controls securing our perimeter to the data, and we've got Forseti and Cloud Security Command Center keeping us safe. And when we've got this all set up and working, it's really a work of art.